the flesh profiteth nothing. The Bible says this numerous times. It says it once in the book of John. It's reiterated again in the book of Romans. The flesh profiteth nothing. There is nothing you can do in the natural man that is of use to God. This is a really hard lesson to learn as a Christian. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. We as a Christian are supposed to seek those things that are above. Cast all your troubles on God. But in order to do that, you have to be seeking the wisdom that comes from above. Trying to be led by the Spirit. The flesh profiteth nothing. Remember, you are dealing with the Holy God who is sufficient unto all things, able to do exceedingly above, above, exceedingly above all you hope or even think. Sufficient unto all things. He doesn't require you to become good in the natural at any particular thing. Yeah, you have gifts and you have talents in the natural man. That's true. And you should, you should, you should work them out and you should practice them and try to develop them. But ultimately, the, pre the flesh profiteth nothing. God doesn't require anything from you in the natural in order to fulfill your, 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 your destiny in the kingdom. He doesn't require anything of you in the natural. Matter of fact, the less you bring to the table, oftentimes the better, are, better off you are. That's why the Bible said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. What is the poor in spirit? The guy who knows he's got nothing to offer. Got nothing to bring to the table except his own willingness to obey, except his willingness to yield himself over to the dictates of the Spirit. That is actually how you live the successful Christian life. You yield yourself over to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. You forget about all your talents. Even if you're a really talented person, those aren't what, those aren't what is going to decide your success in the kingdom. The smaller you get in the kingdom the more lowly and insignificant you can make yourself, the more you can plow faithfully in the kingdom. These are the things that decide your success. Why? Because God is all-sufficient. You could be the most talented person in the world. You are not more talented or more creative or more intelligent than God. You're not even close. You're not even a speck in the infinity of God. So how he can use you most completely and most successfully is you empty yourself of everything that you think you are, of, of all your great talents, and you become poor in spirit. And you seek God in all things. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. This is the true path, people. This is the true way to walk out the, Christ, the Christian experience. This is the true way to live the Christian life, and so few Christians do it. That's why you see them... They, they give messages about, you know, how you can become successful in the world's terms. If you, if you walk it out this way, you won't have to worry about success in the world's terms. It will come to your door. You don't have to go running after success. Matter of fact, that's a delusion. The less inclined you are to do that, the better off you be. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Make yourself poorer, smaller, weaker, more insignificant. Yeah, humble yourself. So that God himself can pour through you more effectively. So can use you more, more, more efficiently. And you don't get in the way. Because you think you're so smart. Or you got so many great ideas. Or you got so much talent to bring to the table. Keep in mind, even if you're the most talented person. Even if you're Beethoven. I could be talking to Beethoven right now. It doesn't matter. Empty yourself of your talent. Of your, of your, of your own strength. It's not about your own strength. It's not about your own abilities. It's about you yielding yourself to God so that His power and His ability can work through you cleanly and clearly. John said, I must disappear so that He can come forth. It's really simple. It, honest to God, is simple. But it's hard for people to put into practice. Everybody kind of knows what the right way is to live as a Christian, but it's really hard to put into practice. You need to yield yourself over to the Spirit and forget. Just become poor in spirit. Amen.